Hello everybody. In this video we're going to be talking about the re-release Flesh Eating Zombie. And I know you might be confused why I'm uploading this on this channel. Well, look at the video. We'll look at the previous video before this one and you'll that'll be self-explanatory then. Anyways, yeah. Um, so with this release it's pretty cool. And so basically, you know, I just did the Uncle Charlie one last week and this Friday they brought back another animatronic. It's Flesh Eating Zombie from 2011. Um, with Moving Mouth this time. You know, it has a latex face now. Uh, it looks really, really cool. There's one sad thing. It is online only because the item number... Anything that starts with 075, you see here. Let me highlight it. Oh my god, stop. See, my computer is so glitchy. Look at, see, look at this. Look at, see, 075, that means it's online only. And it's sad because, well, I would love to see this in stores. The same thing happened with Blood, Blood Brothers last year. And this actually looks like Blood Brothers. You see, it has a very, very similar face. It's just painted like fleshy and zombie. Um, it has different audio than the original. I still do have the original model. I, I had two. I remember the first one I got from 2011. Uh... It only lasted like a few activations and the motor died. And then I got another in 2012, which still does work, but the wires keep coming off the trimming button slot. And the original Flesh Eating Zombie, it's the only thing, the only problem with it is the light sensor it had. It had a light sensor in its mouth and it only worked when you put a flashlight up to his mouth, at least with mine and a lot of other reviews too stated that issue. And the old one, is one of those ones where if you pick it up, all the poles just fall off, off of it. So it's always just laying on the floor in my storage unit because it always just falls apart when you pick it up. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, with the sensor issue, I was actually even just thinking these past few years, just updating the sensor to the newer sensors that's being used because you can buy those sensors from somewhere, I'm sure, and you can wire it. You can take the old sensor out and probably wire the new, and it would work, I bet. But... Now they made this new one. This one is two hundred dollars. I think the original was one hundred and fifty. Um, and let's see the video. Yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> Not sure about the audio though. Yeah, the audio is kind of weird on it. So I, I, I. I I'm sure it probably only has that one audio track, but it would be cool if they it had the original audio as well. But they, it's another one where the original one sound quality was just absolutely terrible. So here's the other photos. Look at that. Yeah, see, I didn't expect this guy to come back this year. I thought it was going to come back next year. You know, but uh, I know I said before Wacky Mole will probably come out in 2023, but I, I am eating my words on that one because I know for sure that it's coming back this year now. There's a hint that it is uh, evidence, but I can't really share what that is. But I know it's coming back this year, and I'm sure he's going to look a lot different this year too. And then last Saturday, uh, Spirit... Uh, has a new jumping spider, the black and red one, which a few people already have because this was not a pre-order. This is something that they already had in stock and you could order. And I like it. I may get it, but I don't know. I have a lot of jumping spiders, so it's like they're not a main priority since I have quite a few. Um, but it looks really cool. Some people are saying it's lazy. It's just a different color or whatever, but I, I think it looks really cool. And f as far as the themes, I, I know they're doing something with clowns and scarecrows because it's mostly just... Scarecrows and clowns that seem like they're going to be in stores this year. Uh, some people think a carnival. Some people think a, a fun house. 
some people think a festival, a fall festival, which would make more sense for the Scarecrow to be with that, but it is going to be divided into two sections, I believe. But uh, also, uh, this jumping spider, um, Halloween, ha Halloween Hunter has gotten it, and I think Jaden has too, and they actually jump decently fast from what I could see. In this video, it doesn't really, but the ones that they got seem to jump very decently. <laughs> I don't know, I, I like it. And uh, it actually does have some red on its back, too, from what I know. So it is like technically supposed to be like a black widow. Some photos don't show it. But this photo here is kind of weird, because look at the red, it's on its face. <laughs> this is like a Photoshop or something, I don't know. See, I can kind of see the red spot on its back there. So, yeah. And remember, guys, next year is the 10th anniversary for the Jumping Spider. So, they're I'm, they're probably going to do something really special for a jump. It's probably going to be all Jumping Spiders. No, I'm just kidding. But they're definitely going to make some more variants next year. It It's going to be kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what they'll do next year for the Jumping Spider's 10th anniversary. Because that, that's the longest selling item in history. I mean, Jumping Spider is just so popular, and it's crazy because Spirit was so close. No, Techie, or no, Spirit, one of the two. They were close on not producing it because the, I think it was Spirit. Because at first they thought it was cheesy, but it became their best seller. That would have been a huge mistake if that had happened. And this info did not come from me. But yeah, uh, no, it doesn't seem like there's going to be really any zombies in the stores this year, but I'm hoping they do some with zombies next year, because they don't really, haven't done anything with zombies in a long time. Even just regular zombie props. That's kind of why I thought Flesh Eating Zombie was going to come out next year, because it would fit the themes more. And I mean, it's not going to be in stores this year, but it would have made more sense for it to come out next year. So, I don't know if I'm going to get the new Flesh Eating Zombie. I want to. I still want to get Bro Blood Brothers. They definitely would go good together. I still got to get a new Lurching Zombie, too, because mine is completely fried. I was gonna, I'm was i going to try to buy Erkso 2000s, but I don't know how much I want to pay for it. And with all this new stuff coming out, when am I going to get a chance to do that? There's just so much at this point. And this happens every year. I believe Double Trouble sold out because like the other day was there was like 10, but then there was only two left. And Deadly Roots completely sold out now, so. Um, see, Blood Brothers, this new um, Flesh Eating Zombie, and Lurching Zombie, they all go great together because they all have latex faces and moving mouths. But. The old uh, Flesh Eating Zombie, Twilight Twitcher, and the Jemmy Lowe Zombie from uh, 2017. I think those ones all go, go good together because they all have like a plastic head. So, Emperor Soul. See, yeah. See, sometimes a lot. Sometimes Spirit puts their some of their coolest ones on my Nolme, and it's kind of sad. Like, I had really. I was really disappointed last year when B Blood Brothers was online only. See, because he has the 075 number. Oh. I'm going to get him at some point. Because I, I last time I checked, there's more than 100. You can find out how many they have when you put in like a quantity of 100. And if it doesn't go up to a, a 99, if it shows up as less, then that's how many they have. But if it shows 99, when you put in 99, that means they likely have more than that. So... Emperor Soul, same thing. See, 075, online only. And same thing with Tug of War and all those. But those aren't even exclusive. These are exclusives. So now, besides the spiders, Toe Tagged and Ghostwing are the oldest animatronics on here. Well, and of course, Roaming Bear. They still have over 100 of him. Like, Jesus. I hate that thing. I, I, I just do not like Roaming Bear. I'm sorry. I, I tried giving it a chance. I tried liking it. I just don't, though. <laughs> and you know me. I like almost everything. So it's it's just... <laughs> but it's he's not for me. Um, Well, I think that's pretty much it for now. I didn't have as much to say about the zombie that, like I did Uncle Charlie.
again, looks really cool, but I just, I'm not a big fan of his audio, but it could grow on me later on, but I don't know, I don't know, since he's not going to be in stores, I'm not going to get, you know, used to it, because <laughs> I, I grow on props when I see them in the stores every single day, but when they're online only and you can't experience them, it's kind of hard, and it's sad, because I want to see other people, ex I, I want to see what other people think, like, the fun part about working at Spirit is watching people's expressions when they try each animatronic, you know, what they're thinking and how impressed they are, you know? It's just really fun just watching people. And that's why I'm sad whenever something is online only because it's like, well, these people aren't going to experience now because not everyone's going to look on the website. And some people only go once to Spirit once every year and they could go too early when not everything's in stock if, Spirit, if one store is open too early. Yeah, anyways, that's it for now. So yeah, 